Hey guys, welcome. It's Chris for Vienna Care. When we're looking at our skin, sometimes we have all these hopes and dreams and we, and we pray and sometimes we're just praying for a miracle. And then somewhere along the line, a miracle happens. I'm talking about Miracle L. So the Miracle line of products, um, there's a range of different products such as Miracle H, Miracle L, a number of different products that are used as skin boosting treatments. So today what we're going to be talking about is the Miracle L and how is that different from the other products that Miracle offers. So I've not tried Miracle L so I'm really excited to try it today and show you how I'm going to be using it on my own skin. Miracle L contains PCL. PCL is polycaprolactone and essentially what that is it's a biodegradable form of polyester and what that's going to do for you and in your skin is boost collagen production you're gonna help eliminate fine lines and wrinkles and it's gonna give you a tighter, firmer skin and a more lifted appearance. How is that different than, let's say, Miracle H? Miracle H is a product that contains the PCL as well as hyaluronic acid. If you're someone with dehydrated skin, you're gonna wanna probably try that one or choose that one because it's gonna have that additional hyaluronic acid and it's gonna help hydrate and moisturize your skin. Using this strictly PCL, I'm not gonna get as much hydration, but what this is gonna do, it's gonna target those fine lines and wrinkles because it's gonna really boost that collagen production within the skin where it needs to be. Once injected, the PCL is actually going to, about after a week, you're gonna start noticing those fine lines and wrinkles starting to disappear here um, and you'll start to notice uh, a firmer complexion and your skin's going to be a little bit bouncier and more taut and firmer. Best thing that I can say about this is even though I haven't used it what I've read is that the results will last up to a year so the collagen production that you're going to be creating will last up to a year so the maximum results you'll see will be at a four to six week mark post injection. Now the, there's a number of different ways that you can use this product. Uh, you can use that as a traditional mesotherapy technique and that's going to be using a needle. You could micro needle with this product as well. However, you will not get the best result, but it definitely is something that you can do and it's worth a try. You can use the easy injector and that is going to give you a very precise, um, accurate injection depth and site location. So there's another way. You can use a Hydra Stamp, there's another way, a Hydra Roller. Uh, you have a lot of different options on how you can do your own skin boosting treatment. I just prefer to use a needle because it's more accurate to me and I can basically put it wherever I want. Um, and I know I'm gonna get the results that I'm looking for. So my preferred method is with a needle and hi, if you're new here, I love needles. So here we are. So we first need to disinfect our skin. We have gloves. We have 70% isopropyl alcohol. I have already freshly cleansed my skin, trimmed down my facial hair, and we are just going to wipe over our skin to disinfect thoroughly. Once our skin is disinfected, we can take our product. I'm just gonna swirl it around a little bit. Remove the cap. Open my syringe. I'm gonna be using a three milliliter syringe. And inside this vial is two milliliters, so I'm not gonna have a full syringe. And then I'm simply going to insert my syringe, and then I'm going to withdraw the product. And there's a tiny amount of product left in here, so what you can do to get that tiny bit is you can actually attach your meso needle attachment. So I've gone ahead and put my meso needle attachment on to withdraw the remaining amount of product. All right, so once I have my product in, I will use my 32 gauge, five pin, two millimeter crystal meso needle attachment. Now, I will say it is recommended to use a 31 gauge needle. Um, however, five pin crystal meso attachment only comes in a 32 gauge, so that is what I'm using. And that just simply twists right on, so there is a lure lock in here and that just twists right on. So you have two mils of product and you will essentially need about 
two mils per injection. Now, it really doesn't have to be very specific. Uh, I just tend to go and stamp and then I will inject a small amount of product. So when I feel it, that's how I know it's in there. So it doesn't have to be super, super precise. And the benefit of using this over a single needle is that you're actually gonna get five injection points of product. And what that means to you is that it's gonna be much quicker, faster, and less painful. So if you like all three of those things, you can go ahead and get a five pin crystal attachment. All right, so I've already done most of my cheeks and my forehead. Now I will say that I'm starting to feel that this pin is getting dull. So I'm going to switch out the five pin needle attachment to a four millimeter um, 31 gauge needle. So I'm just gonna switch that out and I'm gonna finish my treatment. All right, so I've gone ahead and I've switched out to my 31 gauge four millimeter meso needle attachment. As you can see here, very short needle. So now I will be able to tell you which one I like better. All right, so we are going, we're done. I'll say my preferred method is with a single needle with this particular product, um, only because you can actually place it where you need to. And the 32 gauge five pin, um, honestly, those needles are too, too fine to really, you know, get the product in there easily. Uh, so I like to be quick, as, I, as quick as I can be, uh, so yeah, I would highly recommend with this product to numb first, then use a either an easy injector or micro needle the product in, or use a single needle and you know switch it out periodically. Because I'm not sure why Miracle burns, uh, but the Miracle H, which has hyaluronic acid and PCL. That one doesn't burn, so I am curious to see how this actually performs in my skin.
So freshly cleaned, as you can see up close, there's just little tiny bumps, but also there's not really as many up through here where I use the five pin. Um, and even through here where I use the five pin, those are already starting to go down a little bit. Definitely not the same as when you're using a typical hyaluronic acid. I do expect to wake up in the morning um, and not have any kind of like lumpiness like you typically would with other hyaluronic acid skin boosters. Um, so that's awesome. But yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how this product does um, and what it does for my skin. Uh, I just now know for next time that, you know, I more than likely will numb my skin uh, prior since this uh, product does have a burning sensation, which I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Um, you just need to be prepared for that and know to expect that. But yeah, I would definitely numb next time and I would probably use, um, I mean, honestly, I would probably use like a 29 or a 30 gauge needle um, to make the application and injection much quicker and smoother. So that is my thoughts on the Miracle Elf for now, but I will come back in about 24 to 40 hours just to kind of check, um, check in on my skin so you guys can see what, I, what it's looking like and what it's done. All right, so here we are about, I don't know, 12 hours later, maybe. Um, so I just got up um, a little while ago. I took a shower, washed my face, did all my normal stuff. Um, I'm about to head out the door to go to work, but I wanted to jump on here for you guys to see. So all I really have, so the bumps are gone. They were literally gone before I even went to bed last night. So all I have is a little tiny bruise there, little tiny, two little bruises right there. Um, but as you can see, there are no lumps and bumps on my face. Everything is completely smooth. So originally I had said, usually when you have those mesotherapy bumps, um, they'll usually dissipate within about 24 hours, sometimes 48 hours. Um, being that this is not a hyaluronic acid skin booster, those bumps don't stick around. Um, the Miracle L is a 20% PCL, and that is different. So it's not gonna be sticking around and hanging out like a traditional um, hyaluronic acid skin booster would do. So if you are someone that is, you know, in a hurry for an event or something, you know, this may be something that you could do, but I would do this prior. Uh, there have been reports of people having swelling. Everybody's different, you know? So some people will have a reaction and they will have swelling and that swelling could last for a couple days or a few days. You know, everybody is different. As I mentioned previously, the results are not gonna be seen immediately. You will typically start getting results after about a week post-injection and then you'll see the maximum results of the treatment at about four to six weeks post-injection uh, because PCL is essentially just stimulating that collagen production and it's going to take about four to six weeks for that to happen and then to see it. Uh, but the good news is that while it is, while it takes time to see results, those results will end up sticking around for about 12 months. So you're gonna have that long lasting collagen production. So this would be a great, great treatment to do a course of, which would be approximately four to five vials. And that would be done once a month. So I can't wait to try another Miracle product. I'm not sure which one I'll be trying next. I think there is the touch up, but that's recommended after you've done a four, a full course of Miracle Treatment. And then there's a whole list of other skin boosters that I am so excited to try and that I will obviously be sharing with you guys. That's all I got for you guys today. Today, So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. And then also head over to my channel, uh, youtube.com slash Christopher McGrady to see more content similar to this. So that's all we got. Until next time, stay healthy and be well. Bye.